Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be starting a new section in this in this book, uh, No More Excuses by Dr. Tony Evans. And we're going to be talking about the subject of no more half-stepping. Uh, today we're going to be, the scripture is going to come from James 4.4. 4. It says, You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world is hostility toward God? So whatever wants, so whoever wants to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Again, we're going to be talking about no more half stepping. We'll close this week out with a good with a good message for us to ponder on through the weekend. Some people are scared that the Christian life is going to cost them too much. They give part of themselves to Christ and hold the rest back. Where I grow up. They call that half-stepping. That's when you try to walk with Christ and walk with the world at the same time. The Bible calls it double-mindedness, and it comes with a warning. James 1, 5 through 8 tells us, Now, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith without doubting. For the doubter is like a surging sea driven and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord, being double-minded and unstable in all of his ways. God is faithful to provide wisdom, but we have to be all in. A relationship with Jesus calls for commitment. Here's a thought to think about. Have you been half-stepping in your relationship with Jesus? What is holding you back from being all in? So again, let's go against the grain here a little bit. And against the grain, we can't go against the grain unless we are in His steps. Our scripture is going to come from 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. It says, All scripture is breathed out of God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training and righteousness that the man of God may be complete and equipped for every good work. Before Jesus instructed his disciples to go and make disciples, he called them out to follow him. We have that same calling. As the Holy Spirit grows our faith, we realize that following and going are one. Ours is the lifelong calling to work and walk alongside Jesus, empowered by the presence and the indwelling of our the Holy Spirit. In previous devotions, we looked at the picture of God's cutting across the grain of human understanding and expectations. He provided a way for his now broken creation to move from paradise to paradise through the sacrifice of his son Jesus. So let's zoom in a little bit to the life of Jesus as we go against the grain a little deeper next week. Following his steps, learning and growing as we go. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this week. We're thankful for your many blessings. Help us to take what we've heard this week, what we've dwelt on this week, and help us to apply it to our lives that we can have a deeper relationship with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.